I'm here to warn you about a growing threat to the laws and values of the United States from a group of religious extremists and fanatics. No, I'm not referring to so-called jihadists or Islamists or to creeping Sharia. I'm referring to what I like to call the Christian Taliban, those Bible-thumping fundamentalists who are bent on theocratizing the US government. There's the Attorney General of the United States, Mullah Jeff Sessions, who wants Sharia law, but of the biblical variety. Asked last week how the Trump administration could justify separating migrant kids from their parents at the border, Sessions said, I would cite you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans uh, 13 to obey the laws of the government because God has ordained, ordained the government for his purposes. Yeah, forget all the verses in the Bible that talk of love and compassion towards the less fortunate. No, obey the law according to Romans 13. The same verses of the Bible, incidentally, that were used to justify slavery. But that didn't stop White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders from coming out explicitly in favor of theocracy. It is very biblical to enforce the law. Uh, that is actually repeated a number of times throughout the Bible. By the way, Sarah Huckabee Sanders is the daughter of Mullah Mike Huckabee, who once called for God's law to be placed above U.S. law. And that's what we need to do is to amend the Constitution so it's in God's standards rather than try to change God's standards so it lines up with some contemporary view of how we treat each other and how we treat the family. There's also Mullah Ted Cruz, whose victory speech at the 2016 Iowa caucuses began with... Let me first of all say, to God be the glory. That's basically Christian for... Allah Akbar! Imagine the reaction if a Muslim candidate for high office began his victory speech with... Allah Akbar! I'm just saying. Cruz has also said he's a Christian first and an American second. Can you imagine if, say, Congressman Keith Ellison said he was a Muslim first and an American second. Then there's Mullah Mike Pence. I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order. He's tried to bring his extreme religious views into the science classrooms of America. Let us demand that educators around America teach evolution not as fact, but as theory. While governor of Indiana, Pence brought in a quote-unquote religious liberty bill, which basically legalized discrimination against a vulnerable LGBTQ minority. And he literally signed that bill, surrounded by these folks. Hmm. Look, as in the Middle East, to really politicize religion, you need a bunch of politicized clerics. Caliph Donald Trump can call on some of America's finest to make the case for Christian supremacism and to make the case for him, the divine case for an irreligious, thrice-married adulterer and former casino owner. There's Mullah Franklin Graham, who says the hand of God elected Trump. There's Mullah Robert Jeffress, who says God gave Trump the authority to take out Kim Jong-un. There's Mullah Jim Baker, who says we have to obey Trump because God had him elected. If that isn't the language of theocracy, of zealotry, then what is? And for those of you moderate Christians who are tearing your hair out at the sight of these Christian extremists, distorting your precious faith to score political points and advance a narrow, intolerant, hate-filled agenda, all in the name of God and with the aid of scripture, well, let me say on behalf of all your Muslim friends and neighbors, welcome to our world.